All right, so let's continue with our sort question. Okay, now this one I'm going to solve is a special case. All right, number one, I'm going to solve about five questions there. I'm having root 2x minus 1 plus 3 is equal to 6. Now, what do you do in this case? Okay, you're going to leave sort one side and then leave number in one side. So I'm going to parallel it by saying root 2x minus 1 is equal to 6 minus 3. So root 2x minus 1 is equal to 3. Then you square both sides. You square both sides. If I square both sides, I'm having root 2x minus 1 is equal to 3. All squared. All squared. So what do I have? Square will cancel square. So I'm having 2x minus 1 is equal to 9. So 2x is equal to what? 9 plus 1. 2x is equal to what? 10. So x is equal to what? 10 divided by 2, which is what? 5. Okay? Now, number 2. Number 2 says um, that um, root, root x minus 3 plus root x is equal to 3. Now, in this form, we don't leave two sorts one side, then square both sides. So you have to leave one sort one side and one sort the other side. So let's take this one to this side. So we have that root x minus 3 is equal to 3 minus root x before we can square both sides. So what do we have? x minus 3 all squared is equal to what? 3 minus root x all squared. So we can do uh, this to cancel this. I'm having what? x minus 3. But here, there are two things. So I'm going to do square the first one, 9. Multiply the first one and the second one, I'm having minus 3 root x. Double it, I'm having minus 6 root x. So square the last one, I'm having x. Okay? Why do I use plus? Because minus squared is plus. So let me collect uh, like terms. Leaving just sort one side. So let this sort come here so that every other person can go here. So this sort coming here, I'm having 6 root x is equal to 9 is already here, plus x is already here. This x coming, I'm having minus x, and this 3 coming, I'm having plus 3. So I'm having 6 root x is equal to, this minus this is gone. This plus this is what? 12. I can square both sides again. Square, or let me divide by 6. Divide by 6. So this comes, I'm having that root x is equal to 2. So if I square both sides, I'll have that what? Or when square root crosses, it becomes square. So I'm having that x is equal to what? 2 squared. And x is equal to what? 4. As simple as that. Number 3. Number 3. I'm having a... For number 3, I'm having root... Root 2x minus 3 plus root x plus 2 is equal to 3. I told you that two sorts cannot be the same place, then you square both sides. So let's move one person to this side. So I'm having root 2x minus 3 is equal to what? 3 minus root what? x plus 2. So let's square both sides. So I'm having root x... Root 2x minus 3 all squared is equal to what? 3 minus root x plus 2 all squared. So this square will cancel square root. I'm having what? 2x minus 3. Now, the same thing here. Square the first one, 9. Multiply the first one and the second one. Double it. I'm having 6 root x minus 2. Okay, square the last one. I'm having min, uh, plus because minus squared is, is plus. So I'm having what? x plus. Uh, x plus 2, okay? Because square root will cancel square. So now let's move the sword one side and move the rest to the other side. So this one across now I'm having 6 root x minus 2 is equal to 9 is already here, plus 2 is already here, plus x is already here. Before this one crossing to become minus x, minus what? Minus 2x. This one crossing to become plus 3. So I'm having 6 root x minus 2 is equal to 9 plus 3 is the 12, 12 plus 2 is the 14. So I'm having 14. This and this will give me minus x. So I have to square both sides again. 
so that this square root can go. I will square both sides again. So I'm having 6, the root of x minus 2, all squared. Is equal to what? 14 minus x, all squared. So I'm going to have... I'm going to have c squared is 36, bracket. B squared is now s minus 2, because square will cancel square root is equal to 14 squared. Square the first one, that's what? 14 times 14. Okay, I'm having 196. That's square the first one. Then multiply the first one and the second one, double it. I'm having minus 28x. Then square the last one, I'm having plus x squared plus x squared. So what do we have? This time this, I'm having 36x minus um, 36 times 2. So I'm having minus 72 is equal to 196 minus 228x squared plus, uh, plus x squared. So let's, it's now a quadratic equation. So let's bring everybody to one side. So I'm having x squared first. Arranging it, okay, minus 28x is here. This one across, I have another minus 36x, okay. I'm already having plus 196 here. This one across, I have plus 72, is equal to 0. So what do I have now? S squared minus um, 28. So I'm having minus 64x plus... 72 plus 196. So I'm having 268. Is so this is the quadratic equation. So we can factorize this times this. So I'm having 268x squared. Now you see, this is very this is cumbersome. If you start thinking of two things now, you may you will not get it. So just do it the way I taught you. Share it. 268x squared. 2 divide. I'm having 134x squared, 2 divide. I'm having 67x uh, squared, okay? Can anything divide 67? 67. Okay, so if I say 67, uh, sixty-seven. so uh, I don't think it's factorizable, so we're going to solve it by uh, formula method, we're going to solve by formula method, so, so that is that. I'm going to solve by formula method. Are we missing anything? Okay. So it's not factorizable. So 67, nothing can take care of 67. 67 minus 4 is 63, and not 64. All right. So, 